This is the eighth video in a series about database fundamentals. In this video we're going to look at many-to-many -many relationships and what we do with those when we go to physical design. So in watching this video you should already be familiar with binary and unary relationships and what we mean when we say one-to-many or one-to-one -one in a relationship. But now we will look at many-to-many and how we implement this in the relational database. In a many-to-many -many relationship, neither side gets the foreign key. In fact, you do not build many-to-many -many relationships in the database. A many-to-many -many relationship has to be broken down into at least two one-to-many relationships. You add an associative entity in the data model. It comes between the two existing entities. This has also been called conjunction or intersection entity. So what we see here is you still have repair order and you still have inventory but you have a table between them. And the relationship that you saw between the two, this becomes this over here and this comes over here. So this was this uh, minimum of zero, maximum of many, which defines inventory to repair order. That is what you see here for the minimum of zero, maximum of many. And when you have an associative entity, you'll know that that, that particular entity is going to have a minimum of one and a maximum of one with the related table. So. A many-to-many -many relationship is not incorrect. It's appropriate for a logical model, but when you get ready to create the physical model, you have to decompose the many-to-many -many relationship into its related, its, its uh, component one-to-many relationships. So for this example, you would have the uh, repair order and inventory and you would create the repair detail between the two and this is going it's on the many side of both of the relationships so it's going to have a foreign key from repair order it's going to have a foreign key from inventory now a table in the database can have many foreign keys or it can have none it's it just depends on how it's related that particular table is related to other tables in the database so we've looked at how to implement a many-to-many -many relationship and we know that we have to use at least one associative entity to break that relationship down into at least two one-to-many relationships